have actually finished the post so I'm gonna just quick sketch in all the squares and tiny details in my windows before getting started so excuse me here as I fast forward through this process and then we will play once we're ready to move on to the next step so it is now time to add those little chimney pipes on the top here I'm kind of putting them in at a slant. Please try to do a little more straighter than me. And it looks like the chimney top is a little bit taller by maybe a hair's breadth for the first chimney. And then the second chimney looks like it's actually half of your um, <clears throat> first window. Last but not least, my lovelies, we are going to add the rectangular chimney tops to your chimney pipes. So now we are going to do the tan house and I'm doing a really, really large right angle here, right? And the space between the red house and the tan house is going to be at least half of a window. Um, you can notice that this is actually going to extend up, out, a little bit above your red house's roof. Looks like it's one full window above your red house's roof. And then you're going to start curving up and around to create kind of like that wavy top there for your roof's end. Looks like... The space between here is half of a window. And it also looks like your window lines up with the base of window number one. So, we're gonna put that there. And we're gonna put our first window here. It looks like it is a window and a half long. I'm going to add the window panes. It looks like it's half of a window in space from window number two. So let's repeat what we just did here. Half of a window away from window one, we're going to put window number two. And we're going to continue making our window panes. Okay. We're going to continue this all the way over to the edge of our paper and we're just going to guess that this hmm, is located here okay and let's make sure that all of our windows line up with each other there we go in my sizes. There we go. And let's make sure that the bottom of our window also lines up with all of our friends. I know we're dealing with some weird angling here. Okay. And right here, from the top of our window here, we literally have half of a window pane in width from the top of this window to the top of this gray, this brownish grayish piece here. So let's kind of use that to our advantage to kind of split up this area so we can figure out where to start window number two. Right. We're just going to shade a band in here because this band is going to help us figure out 
two bands actually. And a really light shadow in between. This is this part right here. And then we literally have, yep, this white part here looks like it's about a window, a little less than one window in height. So let's go up two window panes. figure out of this kind of grayish piece right here. Okay, that's this right here. I might need to rise it just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. And then this window is at least one window in height, so we're going to raise this up a little bit. Okay, and we're going to add the window panes in here. I don't know the exact design of this top part here, but I'm just going to make it up. I'm just going to put a series. of windows that go from here to there just to kind of get the edge of my paper fleshed out here. And then this, I'm going to rise up a little bit because it looks like it's a little bit off. Yeah, it is off. See? It's not supposed to go all the way down here. See it? So I'm going to raise it up. Here, let's measure this. Let's use a referencing technique. From here to the base of our building, it is one. It is one window in height from base to the base of the window to the base of the building. So let's go. Let's shade this in. This is about half of a window pane in width. And then we will add our stilts. 